morning guys um <laughs> just wanted to show you this typical to usps and their way they ship our plants they beat the crap out of another box so oh bummer it, it hopefully it'll be okay i'm gonna open this second because i need to get scissors for it i did open the other box uh just opened it up i didn't look inside at all i uh i i wanted to be surprised but i wanted to get our addresses removed from view and Suzette and I, Suzette's uh, gardens, and I did a plant trade. And um, wow, I, she has sent me way more plants than I sent her. Let me set this. Well, you can see how full this box is. I think I set her four plants and a stupid water bottle that she wanted. Um, so here's something here. I don't know what it is. It's little. Um, oh, oh my gosh! It's philodendron brandy and brandy atom. And um, oh, isn't that pretty? Another one I've never seen in person. I was just looking at them online the other day too. Um, let me reach one of my pot things here. I'm not going to pot them up right now. I'm just because there's so many of them. It looks like I'm. Just, I've got some uh, things set up to set them in to hold them until I get ready to pot them. And uh, let's throw that on the floor. And that's more. I think that's more packing. Yeah. Okay. And here's another one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't even imagine. She wouldn't tell me. This is all a, a total surprise. Oops, there's dirt going over. Oh, a begonia Don Miller. Well, I hope I can keep it. looks like it's a cane begonia. So I hope, whoops, whoops. Well, that one looks a little bit broke, but that's okay. I think they root pretty easily. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I will stick that. At, see if I can get it into the camera there the name of it and um, sure got pretty little leaves so we'll see um, stick that in another cup I'm gonna make a mess on my floor here it's okay it sweeps up can't get a hold of this here oh my gosh that's a big one what the heck ah there we go Know where this dirt's coming from, but the way they shook things up could be anywhere. Oh, oh, now this is a Hoya tricolor question mark. Again, we're not sure because it's got the white edge, um, like the queen, like the crimson queen, but it doesn't have any any white going on in the middle. I hope I'm not brushing that off into my coffee. Let me push it back a little bit. Um, and then, I don't know if the whole thing is that. It sure is pretty. Oh, man. I just love Hoyas. Look at how much is there. Oh, my gosh. That can go in another little thing. I'm going to bring my trash can in when I get into the next box. Um, <laughs> my dog just dropped his ball in the middle of all of it. <laughs> he wants attention. <laughs> oh, little goofball. Oh, I can't get that. Ooh. Ooh. This is a cacti of some sort. Oh, and there's a little piece that broke off. I'll stick that down too because they usually root pretty easily. This is an orchid cacti, possibly. There's a question mark on there. She's not sure, but boy, it sure is pretty. Oh man, I don't have very many cactus, cacti, cacti pie. Let me put that over there in that little cup. And, uh, oh dear. What is this? Peanut butter fudge, no bake cookies. <laughs> okay, Suzette. Oh, a 
Oh, oh, some more um, herd of turtles. I don't really want to pull them out of there because they're so fragile. Uh, Ripsalis hayi, H-A-Y-I, shingling plant. And I'm going to hold up the tag and then because I have to uh, get it. I don't know. I think that's probably part of it. It's just a little little piece that's rooted. And um, I don't want to mess up the herd of turtles. There we go. Oh man, I have never had a shingling plant before. This ought to be interesting. Oh, cool. Well, it's kind of covered with spag and perlite. And I'll clean all these up and get them in pots and show them afterwards. But Oh, that is pretty. I can't wait to deal with that. And then, looks like... Okay, <laughs> trying that again. My camera shut off and I had to uh, delete some videos, clean it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to show you the herd of turtles that are in here. Oh, God, they're so cute. God, I just love them. I'm going to put them together with the other ones that I have and uh, make a nice little pot of them. And so I'm going to put, I'm just going to leave these in here as they are. It looks like the stem got broke on that one. Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> okay. Um, let me set that off to the side. I did get my garbage can, trash can while I was at it. Um, oh, yay. She sent me another uh, Scandaptus exotica, and I'll put that in with my other babies that she sent. I love this plant. I think it is just gorgeous, and it's doing really, really well. Um, oh, there's so many plants in here. All right, let me... Oh, this is the, uh, well, it's a Thanksgiving cactus, peach. And, uh, is that up, upright the right way? Oh, man, that is a big chunk of it, too. Wow, pretty. I'm going to get her potted up soon and get her into my other room, see if I can get her to bloom this season. It's getting a little late in September to do that, but I don't know, it give it a try. Oops, there's a couple pieces that fell off. And, uh, oh, oh. Yep, that just came completely out of its little bag. It's a, it looks like another Scandaptus Exotica. I'm pretty sure it's kind of rolled up. Yeah, yeah, isn't that pretty? I'll get her soaking, and I'll kind of stick her back in her her little plastic wrap here for right now and get her in some water real quick. That'll make a really nice pot full of them when I get them all put together. Oh, another Peru. Oh, I love this guy. Can't call this one a she because I think it's got abs, man. This guy is buff. <laughs> they are so pretty. And I've heard they're really hard to root. So thank you, thank you, Suzette. Man, now I'm going to have two together. That'll be great. Um, let's see. Oh, this looks like a Ripsalis. Let's see. Ah. Uh, well, it says Ripsalis. <laughs> Can't get it out of there. <laughs> I don't want to break it. Bassiferi. It doesn't look like the other one that she sent that had that same name. So I'll have to get with her on that and ask is that what, what I've got going here. Oh, it is pretty. I love it. Love it. Now I'm getting quite a Rick Salas collection, which is surprising, although having Suzette as, as a plant friend and personal friend really helps. Okay, that 
pot is kind of filled up. Let me move it over here. Back into safety, and I've got another one here. Oh my goodness. Oh, I think this is the Hoya Bella that she talked about. Boy, it is pretty. Oh, and I adore Hoya. Yes, it is a Hoya Bella. It's so nice. That Suzette included all these little tags for me. So I hate making tags. My handwriting is so terrible, and hers is good. Um, oh, man, that is pretty. Oh, I can't wait to add her to my little... I'm going over here like this because this is where I've got several little Hoyas hanging. <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you for that. Move that over. I think UPS is a little rough on these plants. Most of these plants are a total surprise. Ah, oh, I think I know what this is. This is some more uh, lemon lime. <laughs> it's not the upright. It's the lemon lime downright um, heart leaf one. And I am going to have to change my pot for the one that I have the other one in. and Because I want to put them together and have a nice full pot and boy this will do it wow beautiful absolutely beautiful um and let me just say here i know suzette's plants are clean and otherwise i probably wouldn't do i normally when i buy new plants from people i don't know i unbox them out in the garage. I don't even bring them into the house before I've unboxed them and looked them over. And on the way into the house, I spray them with neem. And, um, okay, I'm going to shut this down and start again in just a minute. I need to get that other box open. Be right back. I, being this is such a big box, I, uh, I pulled all the plants out and set them on my table. This is a new box. I've never seen this size box uh, at USPS. And it's a flat rate, uh, priority mail, flat rate box. I think she said it was $21.90 or something like that. So that's almost $22 to send this. Um, but, gosh, it looks like a good box for sending plants. And it's too bad they smushed the heck out of it. Um... All right, so here we go again. That wasn't as hard to get into as I thought it was going to be. Sometimes those ends stick so badly that, um, oh, this looks like another begonia. It is a begonia. It's another cane begonia, though. I have never been able to do well with the Rex, Rex type begonias. Look at the pretty spots. So we're going to give these a, a try. I don't know what flavor it just says begonia so uh it's pretty though thank you suzette wow well maybe you are hooking me on begonias boy that's beautiful um okay oh my god Oh my god. This is Anthurium Tweed. <laughs> I can't wait to put this in my front window and let the sheriffs go nuts. <laughs> Looks a little like pot to me. Oh, I hope I don't get my video pulled for mentioning that word. It looks a little like a pot, okay? Maybe a pot plant. <laughs> anyway, wow. Oh, and I love Anthuriums. They are so pretty. I love all the little fingery things on it. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Okay, this is the wide leaf Adansona. Mine has been, it's doing okay, but it's been struggling. So, uh, Suzette asked if I wanted any cuttings from hers, and, and I said, you bet, because I'll put these down in the bottom and fill in the bottom of my plant. These are beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wow. They don't look like they ship too bad, even for the beating that the box took. I'll have to give them, give them all a nice little bath. They'll like that. Soaking. This is a big one. I have no idea what it is yet. Let's see. Oh, oh, poor baby. He's really wilted. Um, this is a, a Sissus vine, and she said they're really easy to grow. I hope so, because this one is pretty sad looking, but I think with a nice soak, it'll probably come out okay. You know, they, they haven't been in shipping that long. Look at those pretty red leaves on the back. I've never had a Sissus before, so... Keep your fingers crossed for me. Well, those are ugly bugs, of course. They're stink bugs. <laughs> Reading the paper while I'm at it. Sorry, guys. I'm easily sidetracked with squirrel moments. Let me get that in that cup. I'm running out of cups here. Wow. There's a lot of plants here, Suzette. <laughs> Florida Beauty Red Stem. Oh my, look at that beauty. And she is a beauty. And the red stem is interesting. It, it's kind of fuzzy. It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if the camera is going to focus on that or not. But it, it's, oh man, that is pretty. <gasps> Oh, I can't wait for this one to grow up and be a big baby. Wow. Thank you. Jeez, I never dreamed I'd have one of those. This plant trade is very lopsided, I'm afraid. But Suzette is so generous with her plants and her cuttings. And I love cuttings. I absolutely love cuttings. I don't know. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is a philodendron tripartitum. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. And look at it. It already has a new growth point coming in right here. I think I'm pointing at it. It's hard to see in the camera. Wow, look at the leaf on that. That's why it's named what it is. That is way cool. Wow, man. I have really expanded my philodendron collection thanks to Suzette. <laughs> Stick that in there. Wow. There's still more. I haven't even been counting, but I'll shut this down, take care of all of them, and then uh, come back and show you what I did. Okay. What is this? It's shaped like the horse head, but... Oh! A philodendron mexicanum. Suzette, you and your philodendrons with ears, and I love them too. They're so way cool. Looks pretty good. Got a little beat up on the end, but it looks okay. And look at the new growth coming already. Two new growth points, and what the heck? That's a crazy aerial root. And now my cats are getting in the box. That's probably enough. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, 
few more. Wow. Ooh, better than Christmas. To this one, Suzette. This is Philodendron Equa. I can't pronounce it. Don't I no see here. Let me let you look at it. See if I can hold it still enough. <sighs> wow. That is pretty. It almost looks like it has the shape of a, uh, a red emerald leaf, only it's, this is green. There's no red stem to it. That is beautiful. And look at that little stem curling around there like that. Cool. There's one little leaf that didn't make it, but I'll clip it off and take care of it. Wow. Thank you, Suzette. Oh, my goodness sakes. I'm going to have to dedicate two plant stands to my philodendrons and then some. <laughs> my little neighbor takes all my offcasts or the ones that I don't take to the grocery ones she doesn't take, I take to the grocery store and drop off to the community garden center to raise money. And um, so, she'll be getting some more plants when these guys get a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see what this is. I don't know. I can't even guess. Oh, a philodendron campo spartum. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Oops. Well. Trying this again. My camera is trying to shut off and uh, I need to plug it in. The battery's out. Uh, this is a Philodendron Campo Spartum. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. It's the best I can make out of it. And look at the back of the leaf. I don't know if it's showing in the camera, but in person it shows a little bit of red to it. That's cool. Uh, oh yeah, hey, this one shows more. Let me flip it over. Can you see it? Wow, that is beautiful. I had never heard of this philodendron, so. Okay, I'll let you go. I'm gonna plug in my camera while I wash these guys up and get them potted or in perlite or whatever I need to do with them, and I'll be back shortly. Bye. All right, and finally, it's been a long, busy afternoon, and I've got these plants in pots, so. Uh, there's the orchid cactus, and uh, I combined the lemon lime philodendron cuttings that she sent this time with the ones that I had. I made a nice big full pot. Let's see if we can get it in better light. There you go. And um, I put the little herd of turtles strand in with the, the other plant that she had sent. It's hard to get lighting in here. Um, and then I think I goofed and called this Peru a philodendron Peru. I'm an idiot. It's a Monstera Peru. I know that. I don't know why my mouth always says philodendron, and maybe it didn't. I don't know. I didn't go back and watch the video because my phone went dead. So anyway, there's that one. So now there's two little strands going in there. And then I incorporated the three pieces or the two pieces. I can't remember now. That Suzette sent into the exotica and so boy, I'm gonna have a really nice pot of that and um, and here's the Hoya and I'm still washing a little bit of dirt off the leaves some of it came in shipping and some of it I did I think the post office just shook those boxes because they could Okay, and now moving on, let me push some of these back so I can get one of these trays up here. 
Oh, boy, they're heavy now. Now, some of these I had to put in the perlite because they weren't rooted, which is fine. I really enjoy rooting plants. And so, anyway, here's the philodendron Florida Beauty. Uh, and I've got bright light shining on this, too. It's just the backlight from the dumb window. I might need to change my arrangement here. I hope not. But anyway, and this is the Tweed uh, Anthurium. And then there's a couple pieces that weren't rooted enough to pot, so they're, they're rooting in perlite. And uh, as I sh showed at the two little videos I'm inserting at the end, when I do plants in perlite like this, I find, for me, it's easier to fill the pot with the perlite, hold it down, and then fill it up with water as you're holding it down so that it doesn't float up off the bottom, and then just stick the stems in. Never had any trouble with rotting or anything, and it sure makes the roots go fast. You'll see that in the next, at the end videos. And then here's the philodendron, philodendron bat. <laughs> Branty Anum. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? And boy, that is a pretty thing. I, I've never seen one in person. I've just seen them online. They're really pretty. And then the Thanksgiving cactus. And I have a spot for it in my little overflow studio. But to keep things simple for right now, I put them all in this one long pot. Okay, and here's one more. Oh boy, <laughs> get heavy when they get a lot of soil in them. Okay, this is the philodendron and I compo spart compo spartum. I don't know. People have that. How do you pronounce things on your phone? But I don't know if you can get it on your computer. Anyway, it's a little droopy, but I think it's going to be all right. Um, it's already perked up some after it had its little bath and uh, neeming and so now this is the philodendron mexicanon and there that this stem here that I've got my fingers on broke off right here in the box so Again, the post office was a little rough with things. This piece does have nice roots, but this one doesn't. So into perlite we go, and that'll be fine. They do real well in perlite. And then here's a philodendron equidonese, and I've never seen one, never heard of them before. They're cool. They're really cool. So I'm looking forward to that. It's got a new little growth point right here, <laughs> their leaf keeps getting in the way, right there, and um, and then this is the equi equi uh, philodendron tripart tripartum, and I love these leaves, they're just so cool looking, and uh, <clears throat> can't wait for them to get going. Now, let's see what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to go, <laughs> okay, let me set these back down hopefully without spilling and I've got two more to do over here trays of them all right whoops that's okay <coughs> excuse me um here's the rip solace and I asked Suzette about it Bassiferi, but then that's what the name is on the other one she sent and they don't look at all alike so we'll have to look that up and um, it's a pretty thing. I love it. Really love it. I can't wait to hang it. Now this guy, the Sissus, Sissus Vine, uh, it too was broken in a few places. So beyond repair and no nodes, I didn't know if it would root from the leaf joint or not. But anyway, uh, the really damaged pieces I took off, it's a little droopy still, but I soaked it in water for quite a while and it perked it up a lot to what it was when it arrived. So I've got the rootless ones in perlite, oh excuse me, and, I, and then the rooted part in the pot. 
and one more to go through. And I never did count to see how many were here. Um, this is the uh, begonia. And uh, let's see if I can get that in better light. There you go. It's got really pretty leaves. And I was hoping they'd stay small. Suzette says, nope, they get big. I'm going to have to wipe my cups off, but uh, not doing it right now. I'm going to let everything dry first because it's just, you're just chasing the bits around if you try to wipe them off when they're wet. And another begonia. Uh, I think that had a name on it. Don Miller. Did I get him confused? I might have. What did this what did this begonia say on it? Okay, I think I did, yeah. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, that is the Don Miller because that is a piece of this one here that again broke off in shipping. So I labeled that one and I will know because it matches the leaves over here that it goes to that plant and this is just set was labeled begonia. So we don't know, but look at how pretty it is with the little speckles. I don't think it's a Wyettii. I think that's what they call them. I don't know. And then the Hoya Bella. I love that name. I think it's really cool. And, uh, of course, I'm a sucker for Hoyas. So, uh, really, any Hoyas are really cool. I don't know what that white spot is, but... Uh, Anyway, looks good. I think they'll do fine. And just for now, I'm going to get this going really good. The uh, uh, wide leaf and Adansonia, because I want to pot it in the bottom of my big plant um, and try to make her a little bit fuller because she was kind of struggling. I can show you real quick. Um, if I can get over here. Look at that lazy bum. Yeah, you're a lazy bum. Yeah, don't wag your tail. That might be take too much energy. <laughs> see, I kind of have a big gaping hole down there. Well, it's hard to see with those leaves, but there. You can kind of see I have a big gaping hole. And so when that gets going, it's in a small pot. Then that'll fill in and grow up. And this guy went through some real hell with the thrips and spider mice before that. And when I did the spider mice, I didn't know you weren't supposed to uh, spray them uh, with neem out in the sunshine. And I did, and I burned a bunch of leaves. So it's just been through Chris's hell. <laughs> I haven't been very nice. So anyway, that's about it. I thank you so very much for your generosity, Suzette. Um, I, I never would have had these fill it in when, if it hadn't been for you and um, I'm really looking forward to growing them up and having some big babies around and and then sending off my more common plants uh, and okay so I'm gonna end this I'm gonna insert those two little videos that I did on rooting in perlite to kind of add to Suzette's um, experiment of perlite versus water and my results in perlite I didn't I didn't do the water thing because I know what happens in water so I just put them straight in perlite and ever since Suzette showed me that video of another gal that did it or maybe I showed her I don't remember but anyway I have been having amazing results in perlite and I'm really glad Suzette looked it up to see why because it's the minerals and all that are in the perlite so, anyway, that makes the plants really happy. So, okay, I'll shut, get rid of this video and and tuck in the other two. And but I'll say goodbye now, as those are kind of an add-on. And thank you again, Suzette. You're just amazing. I'll never get even with you. So, all right, bye now. See you later. Uh, I'm just adding this to this video because it's just real short. I just wanted to show uh, Suzette's doing her experiment of the perlite versus the water. And I made these uh, red emerald cuttings less than two weeks ago. And I put them in perlite. And unlike some, I fill my cup 
with perlite to the top. And of course that's empty now. I've <laughs> dumped most of it into another cup. Um, and then I fill it, I kind of hold it down and, and uh, with my hand over the top and fill it with water between my fingers until the water comes almost to the top. It really makes it a lot easier to shove the stems down in there. And, and then I just kind of keep it full. I don't bother with wrapping the top with plastic. It doesn't dry out that much, but look at the growth in less than two weeks. Uh, I mean, these are darn near close to being ready to pot, I would say. Uh, I don't know. I think they're doing really good. I also did some Epiprimnum panatum, and... Uh, they're they're doing about the same so I'm really thrilled with the perlite propagation so that's it on that little bit and uh, I just thought I'd throw this in at the end thanks bye okay well uh, while I was talking about it on the other little bit of the video I thought I'd show this too because I am shocked uh, and and I believe I showed these in my last video in my plant room tour uh, look at those roots I'm going to plot them up, pot them up, and uh, that's one of the smaller roots. <laughs> Get them out of here. Look at that beefy dude. <laughs> and we've got a little small one beside it too, but I don't know. I might give them a little bit longer to grow, but those roots are doing really good. Maybe another week. And... Uh, Look at that one. That's amazing. I I literally just cut those. I sent I sent Suzette the other ones that I'd cut a couple weeks before, and they were kind of doing the same thing. Man, I really think rooting in this perlite, and you can kind of see if I jiggle it around how full the water is up to the top. And uh, I've never had any trouble with rotting or anything, so the plants seem to enjoy it. The leaves stay nice. They haven't gotten funky or wilty or anything. They're they're really good. Look at the leaves on these red emeralds. I mean, they are beautiful. I can't get a hold of that now, darn it. I need another hand. Get it far enough away. They're pretty big leaves. And they didn't wilt. They didn't do anything. They're looking pretty good. Uh, that one's a little weird because it just unfurled. And um, so... Anyway, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.